Hey yo, I'm a funky fan, a lot of here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, or I guess as of right now, it's just kind of Super Mario 3D World. Anyways, in the last part, we uh, began the game and we did the entirety of World 1. Today, we're going to be starting off World 2, starting off with the first level, which um, this is called Conk Door Canyon. Um, okay, let me. I'm, I'll, I'm gonna try and remember to switch characters every level. I, I may or may not forget at some points, but I think that'll be fair. Like I said, I don't really have a strong preference of any of the characters, but I guess for the sake of the uh, for the sake of the LP, I do kind of want to show them all off. Uh, so I, I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, um, come on, get up there. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I show this off, but if you like, um, jump off. You can then press the um, run button. Um, which is why, and then you can do like a dive, which will get you some additional um, vertical distance. Anyway, uh, the first green star is up there. I will say, I feel like this is going to be the part of the game where I'm really going to start forgetting like everything. Like the first world, I kind of remember because for one thing, I like I've seen it a lot in addition to having played it. But like as of right now, I guess we'll have to see. Anyways, uh, if I recall correctly, the idea behind this. Okay, there is a another one of those golden pipes up there. Um, okay, I have an idea on how to get there. Um, okay, I guess we'll just... Okay, wait a second. We can get up there way easier like this, can't we? Anyways, I found one of these golden pipes back in 1-2. And here's another one that I feel like I never knew about, but, uh, okay. Um, so, how does this work? I just hit this and then, like, just a ton of coins fall. Um, alright, cool. Also, this music is the, like, the... I think this is a Super Mario World theme. Could be wrong. Um, okay. Got some points. I guess that'll give us some more lives. Something that is nice is, just like like the new Super Mario Bros. series, if your like, lives and power-ups like, stay over um, like uh, like when you uh, close the game and restart, it like preserves that. Unlike, for example, in like uh, the 3D games where like you're, or I guess specifically just like 64 and Galaxy where it's like no matter how many lives you collect, you just reset back to like the default when the game starts again. Uh, which was pretty frustrating in my last LP, Kaizumar Galaxy, when I game over constantly and then would end with a lot of lives that I never got to save. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, okay, we got more binoculars. Um, okay, you can use the right control stick, I guess, to uh, look around. Like I said, Sometimes it'll be helpful, sometimes it won't be. I guess over there we can see the stamp, but I mean, I feel like I would have seen that either way. Oh, okay, there's the checkpoint flag. That's pretty cool. Okay, these things are gonna, gonna switch up on me a little bit. That's interesting. I should probably be, like, checking the, like every wall a lot more than I am, because I feel like this is where all of, like, the um, green stars are gonna be, but I'm not sure. Um... Alright, that's completely useless. Okay. Yeah, so I guess the main idea behind this level is you have like these... I guess, like, I guess these are the conk doors. They basically just attack you when you get close and you can... Um, kind of want to be careful, but like, they're pretty much immobile, so... You can kind of just um, wait for them to attack and then just attack them back. Okay, so you like break stuff. Um, is there anything in one of these? Uh, I guess I should clarify anything meaningful in any of these. Okay, yes, there is. Um, I guess I'll check the last one for completion's sake, even though it's pretty unlikely there'd be something in more than one. Um, anything in here? I'm going somewhere. Is this it? Um, I really wish I could see a little bit more. Can I then climb up? I am... Okay, um, I guess you can jump through that and then you can get some, uh, I get a, guess a timer, and okay, this, um, okay, yeah, sometimes there's, like, these boxes where you can, um, like, if you, they'll, like, give you coins for a certain amount of time, oh, okay, I guess I can just run around, um, alright, well, I guess I'm just getting a ton of coins, that's, I mean, between that and the, um, okay, I guess the stamp is just kind of there for free in this, um, version. Um, I'm pretty sure this guy will give me the last green star. Sometimes Captain Toad is in these levels in the same way that he was in uh, Odyssey, where you could find him and he'd give you a moon there. But yeah, wow, that was some... I think this is pretty lazy stamp placement, I gotta say, but I, I guess it's okay. Um, 
And already then, well, that was the first level. Uh, pretty easy. Once again, uh, make sure to grab the top of the flagpole. Uh, it's it's pretty easy to do in most levels, I think, if as long as you, you just like r run up, do a long jump, and you'll get it. But just reminding, because you do need them all to beat the game, or at least beat the game 100%. You obviously don't need it for any percent completion. And okay, I guess that's just gonna be that side. Yeah. Uh, whenever you see like a Bowser statue, that means that oh, I can. Well, I don't have any, so. That's okay, but anyways, whenever you see a Bowser statue, that means that it requires a certain number of green stars to get through. And in this case, I guess it's 15. Yeah, that's what I said. I think I mentioned before about how the, um... Okay, so that's actually 2-2, and 2-3 is the one that's available. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, I'm pretty sure this is just another Toad House. Uh, that, that's my... if I recall correctly. Or it's a stamp? Okay, um... Do you say anything? No? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely forgot that this was a thing. And maybe I just... I mean, I must have gotten that at some point, but, uh... I did, I did... I was not... As of right... Or, I guess, before I did that, I did not remember that there were just stamps that were just in the overworld like that. But I, I guess there are. Uh, cool. Anyways, I guess that this is 2-2, so I'll do this one first. Um... Alrighty, then. Oh, can, wait, but, wait, what? Touch controls? <laughs> okay, so I guess, yeah, I guess you have to play in handheld to, okay, wait. Touch, tilt the controller and aim the cursor. I have, um, okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Is this a thing? I do not remember this at all. I, I guess, actually now that I think about it, there were like certain levels um, that were like, that you needed to use the Wii U gamepad for. Um, okay, so tilt the controller. Okay, so I just have to, I guess you just, okay, so I just have to, so, okay, so the way it works is it's motion controls to move the cursor around, and then you, all you have to do is press R. Or, okay, I guess you have to hold R. For, you can't just tap it. You have to at least hold it for a certain amount. Okay. So that is good to know. Um, alrighty then. Um, fair enough. Okay, this is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Um, I mean, obviously, like, the Wii U gamepad handled this much better when you had, like, an actual touch screen rather than this kind of, like, pseudo, like touch screen, whatever they're going for here. I don't really know. Uh, well, anyway, yeah, I mean, this just takes forever, like, to... I mean, okay, wait, where's the cursor? Do I have to... Okay, so I think I have to press R to make the cursor appear to start, and... Alright, um, I'm gonna assume that the idea here is, okay, I probably should put some of these... Okay, so, it's like... Okay, they stay out for a certain amount of time as well, that's why they're going in, and okay. Um, sure, I guess this is a, a thing. Um, I can just, like, well, jump up to that, All right? Okay, cool. Um, alright, well, anyways, that is how this works. I was actually, um, yeah, I was thinking about, like, like, when they showed the touch screen, I was thinking about how, like, it reminded me of, like, certain, I don't remember, uh, in the Wii U version, like, this level you were required to use the Wii U gamepad, but I do remember that there were certain levels that did, and uh, that, that actually kind of initially made me worry that like I'd have to play certain levels with the um, uh, like with the handheld switch, which has like the touch screen as part of the uh, screen there. But I guess there is a uh, a workaround. So it's, it's nice that they like thought of a workaround for like the if you're just playing like the docked version uh, the entire time. Uh, so that's cool. Okay, wait, the mini Goombas can actually hurt you? Okay. I actually thought that those, that they didn't actually hurt you, that they just, like, um, like, if they ran into you, you could just, like, shake them off, and, okay, no, they, um, they definitely do hurt you. Um, I might be dead. Okay. Nope. I think, actually, I probably would have died if I wasn't peached with the, uh, floating ability. Yeah, the floating ability is kind of OP in certain, like, heavy platforming style levels. I think I mentioned that before, and... 
Alright, we got another coin heaven just like the last time. Okay, this time I'm actually going to grab the star man. And yeah, once you have the star man, you can just kind of uh, plow through everything in your way, which is pretty hype. And okay, we're just going to... Alright, didn't... I thought maybe I could float all the way to the other side of the screen. But I guess not. And okay, so now I actually have to kind of be careful. Um, because, uh, getting hit one more time means death. But I guess we can... Okay, well, I guess we are right back to where we started with that, aren't we? Okay, more of this. Ugh. Okay. Um, okay, that is a, uh, thing. Um, okay, so I just have to move this away and then... Oh, that is depth perception. That is... So something that I noticed is that I guess you're, um, like the green stars you get stay, because, like, uh, the checkpoint was before the second green star, but, like, I don't have to redo that, which is pretty nice. Like, for example, in, like, the new Super Mario Bros. games, like, with the star coins, you basically keep all of the ones that you had, like, prior to the checkpoint, but not the ones that you get after. And, okay, this time, let's just do that. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I think I misjudged the draw distance a bit, and, okay, I d did not think of how to, um get off um there we go so yeah the way that this works is so first you press r to make the cursor appear um oh no, yeah okay also can i just do this like okay well you know i i just remember that there's like a few other things you can do with the cursor you can like i think grab coins and like stun enemies but it's obviously it's kind of hard to do that like during the actual like while you know trying to control your character but anyways yeah the way it works is um Press R once to make the cursor appear, move around with motion controls, press R again to interact, and yeah. Alrighty. Well, I feel like in certain other levels that might get kind of annoying, but at least with that it was kind of manageable. And in general, I don't recall like needing to use it too much. Also, I like did not get a stamp in that level, did I? Um, okay. Uh, well, in that case, I guess we're going back to find it. Yeah, like I said, no guarantee that I'm going to find everything on the first run-through with a lot of these levels, especially as uh, time goes on. So I may or may not have to redo a lot of things, but um, that's okay. I'll just cut to it as per usual. Um, okay, I have a theory. Um, this, like, made a thing appear. Okay, cool. Um... Thought it might be in there. Yeah, I noticed that like that um second one um like opened up like a little hole, and I thought there it might there might be something good in here. So um I'm actually not sure of this, but um does this apply? Does this um okay you will lose any items gaining this course? Okay, I was wondering if if this game followed like Donkey Kong Country rules where you don't have to actually redo the level; it automatically saves. But uh, guess not. Oh well. Wow. Um. I guess always grab the small um, present, because I remember th the first um, toy house I went to, I chose the small one, and I got like four items that were all good, and I figured for variety's sake I would choose the um, large one, but uh, I guess that's a lot worse, or maybe that was, those were just in like those two instances. Anyways, we got Shadow Play. This is actually one of the cooler levels in the game. I believe this is one of the ones that I actually remember pretty distinctly. I mean, it's one of the more memorable levels, so it makes sense. Basically, so the way it works is, um, well, for one thing, we can um, pick up a Piranha Plant and basically use it to kill enemies. But the main idea, as you can see, is that like your, sh um, your shadow gets cast on the wall as well as the shadows of all of the other objects, and you can use it for some cool stuff, like, for example... You see the shadow of the green star, and okay, I guess the piranha plant decided to eat it, but uh, yeah. So yeah, the um, piranha plant's pretty cool. Um, like I said, it can eat a lot of enemies that like you normally can't actually kill, like the fuzzies. It can also eat its own. Par apparently, the piranha plant, sorry, bit, bit, bit of a cannibal because he likes to eat his own species. Um, little questionable, but I guess it's all good. Um. Yeah, you can just kind of... It's funny that, like, the one that were... Okay, these... Okay, no, they do um, move horizontal. But it's funny how, like, the piranha plants are so much more, um, like, vicious when, like, I'm holding it. Because normally they, they don't, like, you know, straight up eat other things. Or at least they don't eat you as the character. But, um, 
I clearly don't have any issues with eating. Okay, um, I guess I can't pick up that one. Alright. Um, well, now I actually have to deal with the fuzzies. Um, so yeah, the fuzzies, they can't really be killed apart from, like, um, oh, that wasn't, um, okay, I guess there's a different way. Um, well, there's clearly a stamp there. Yeah, sometimes there's, like, um, like, secret passages that you don't, uh, that you kind of wouldn't notice because it's all shadowy. Or maybe there's a completely different way to get there that I do not know. Um, so really, n none of these go anywhere? Alright, fine. Um, it, it, it might, like, we might have to go back for that, actually. Um, I kind of doubt it, though. Um, let me look around a bit more. Alright, well, I didn't find anything, so we might actually just go back for that later. Um, very possible. Not totally sure. Um, anyways, like, these guys over here. Oh, wait, where'd my... How did my plant get over here? Did it die and then, like, respawn? You know, I was gonna say, like, we can use that to, like, eat up these things. Okay, so I... Oh, those actually hurt you? Okay, well, I, uh, realized a lot of different things during that segment. Okay, well, anyways, yeah, I just, um, basically, so what I learned is you grab it with Y, but then if you press Y again, um, it throws it. So, um, I, like, basically was pressing Y to run, but that just throws it, so don't do that. Anyways, um, now we can eat up all this stuff. Um, that'll, that'll give us some uh, goodies. I guess I don't have to eat them all. I can just eat, like, that many. And, okay, that's, um, what's even going on here? Oh, okay, that's actually pretty cool. Um, that bonus area, the way that that one worked, pretty cool. And, alright, let's just eat up some more stuff. Okay, so at this point I'm pretty confident that, uh, I missed the stamp, but that's okay. We, we can go back for it. Um, oh well. Alright, here, there's some, this is, actually, this is actually something I remember pretty well. Okay, I just chomped the toad. But if I recall correctly, this is just like a, yeah, it's, obviously it's not the, not the real Bowser. It would be kind of crazy if it was. Imagine Bowser just like being in random levels. That would kind of be a, uh, a, a cool thing to have. But yeah, that, that green star I did distinctly remember. Um, okay, what's the, okay, I guess there's just a top layer. Can, can Toad actually get to the top of the flagpole? Um, doesn't have much of a jump, but I, I guess that's still enough. Alrighty then. Well, but anyway, like I said, uh, I, I'll, I'll have to look around more for what to do for the stamp. I, yeah, I mean. Alright, well, anyways, um, yeah, that's. Oh, well, anyways, um, yeah, didn't get the, uh, stamp, but that's okay. We uh, still, okay, I guess we get more lottery. Okay, playing alone. Can't do that when you're playing with multiple people. That's kind of random, but okay. Uh, anyways, going back. Oh, okay, I, I guess those were, um, bricks? Okay, so, um, yeah, I guess if you, like, do a roll attack into those, that is, okay, so they're all bricks? Okay. Yeah, so just do a roll, or I guess in this case, I, I'm the cat, so I can use my, like, claw attack, but in normal cases, you can just duck, and then, um, press wide to do a roll and it'll break through. Anyway, that is how you can grab the stamp. Alright, uh, and another top of the flag. Well, that one was pretty free since I am the cat toad, and cool. Alrighty then, well, anyways, we got the stamp. We got all the goodies from that level. That's two stamps missed in a row, which is hopefully not a trend of, not, not a, a trend of what's going to come, uh, but, you know, it's in any case, I guess it's all good. Anyways, let, let's check out the lottery, see if we can get any more goodies. I feel like with the lottery, you are you have a pretty high chance of getting, like, something. Just usually not anything, like, super meaningful, but I mean, it, it's lottery for free, so I guess it doesn't really matter. You know, I could probably be, like, actually trying to time these a bit better. Um, let's see if I can actually get, like, the bell. Um, Alright, well, actually, I got two pairs. That's... So that's worth 200 is two pairs. So one pair is 100, two pairs is 200. Um, I guess, well, three pairs wouldn't really work. I guess if you get three of a kind, maybe that's 300. And, or, uh, well, you can win up to 7777, so I don't really know how it all uh, evens out. Um, anyways, I guess moving onwards to 
2-4. And I guess I'm not sure how many more levels I'll do in this part. It's always hard to like kind of... Because like I said, I kind of want to do like either one or two parts. Or one or two... Yeah, one or two parts per world. But I, to be honest, I don't totally remember how many levels there are left. Slash how long they all are. So um, I, I may end up just making like at least early on like each world. Like each like one world. Uh, or, I mean, one part per world, uh, but I guess we'll have to see. Anyway, this level is kind of like a, a grasslands theme. Yeah, I guess I'll say that something about this game is that it doesn't really have, like, world themes. Like, the worlds look different, like, on the outside, but the actual levels inside um, don't really, like, correlate that well. Like, this is, like, the outside world kind of... Oh, wait. Okay, well, I guess I chose the right character, huh? Um, sometimes there are, like, these um, switches that you need to be a certain character for, and I... Guess I was pretty lucky that I chose the right one, but uh, alrighty then. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, um, cause like the outside of the world kind of looks like a desert, which is like, you know, the typical world too in these games, but like the actual levels are just like, you know, any theme. Uh, like right here, this is more of like a world one theme, and then there were like, I guess the first level was sort of a desert, but like, yeah, I mean, it was a desert theme level, but I don't really think that necessarily correlates to the fact that this is a, um, the desert world, as, or like a desert overworld as much as that's just like a new theme that they wanted to try. But I'm not totally sure. Anyways, um, here's like a baseball that, okay, I, I guess when you're a cat you can't actually pick it up. I guess you can just kick it. Um, I guess maybe that's like a downside to a lot of power-ups is that you can't actually, um, grab things because like pressing, uh, the grab button, which is like the run button Y, um, does something different, but okay. Um, is there anything like in this corner? Is that it? All right. Um, you can like go in these, can't you? Okay. Well, that was not really a worthwhile trade, especially since I now can't like get up there. But okay, that just looks like a coin. It probably just makes more coins. Um, well, I can't now show you can do with the baseball. You can like pick it up, and then you can just throw it um, to. J basically, it's just a way to attack enemies. Um, yeah. Uh, not really much else to it. Y you can also use it to, like, activate certain things. Like, you can use it to, like, break. Okay, well... Okay, well, I guess I just threw it off the cliff, so it doesn't really matter, but I was gonna say, I think you can use it to, like, break, um, crates and stuff. Um, but I'm not totally sure. Um, alright. So, anyways... Uh, we got some... Uh, I guess I'll say, like, those, like, other Goombas, which I think are called, like, Galoombas, you can kill them in one hit with a ground pound, um, whereas, um, like, if you just jump on them, you can then, like, pick them up and, uh, throw them, which is kind of funny, like, you all demonstrate, um, or I guess I just kicked it, um, I guess that works too, um, okay, um, can I really, can I stop picking, okay, so I guess you can't pick them, you can just kick them, uh, I guess I was mistaken on that regard, um, anything else in this section, so, Okay, those guys are spiky. Probably don't want to. Um, okay, there's something up there. Can I actually make that with um, just a single mark? I feel like if I can uh, get a good jump. Oh, come on, so close. Um, okay, well, because small mark, I can get through that really easily. Not that. It, okay, I think I'm just going back the way I came. It's probably not the way to go. Okay, well, I was. <laughs> I got guarded, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm back over here. This time, let's actually go in the pipe. And, okay, uh, here's an example. Like, you can, um, throw the, um, baseballs like that. And, okay, basically, the idea behind here is, um, if you just stand on every single one of the, um, like, dark, um, panels, it'll, um, make, uh, something cool happen. Uh, in most cases, probably a green star, uh, as in the case right here. Okay. Also, I think that music was like some, like, 8-bit classic theme. Um, also, okay, let me, um, uh, okay, I'm probably gonna, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, let, let me just, um, get up here the easy way. I feel like you can, like, wall jump this, but maybe you can't. It's just, just money anyways, but, uh, figured I can show it off. Um, okay, um, I was just trying to kill those guys, but I kind of overshot my jump a few times. Is there anything up here? I feel like the level is going to be over at the end of this pipe, but uh, yeah. Um, 
Well, I mean, the third Green Star could still be over here, right? It's most likely not, to be honest. Uh, that's okay. Um, is, it, is it one of these trees? Ah, oh, that would be a cruel spot to put it, like, literally after the flagpole, wouldn't it? But that's probably not. Um, well, I may as well check it and... Alright, well... Alrighty then, well... I'm honestly not sure where it would have been. There wasn't exactly much of that level that, uh... Or there wasn't really much level between the second green star and the end. Uh, but... Okay, also, I don't know what those, like, fireworks are for. Like I said, they just kind of... Or I, did it happen because of my score, maybe? Like, the fact that that score was like a... Like a multiple of a thousand. It was 48,000. Maybe, maybe that's one of the things. I never really thought about that, but I did notice it right there. Um... Not sure. Uh, press on the red course. Yeah, okay, the red course start screen is kind of a weird way to describe it, but I mean, I guess they're just referring to this. Um, alright, anyways, I'll meet you at the third green star. Alright, well, here is where the green star 2 is, and uh, here is the end of the level. Um, so, down here maybe? Um, okay, you wanna go down there? Alright, well, I guess that's where it was. I mean, process of elimination, I guess. Um, kind of not really that great of a spot, if I'm being honest, but whatever. I mean, the only re way that you'd figure that out is just the fact that you look at where in the level it could realistically be, and that's, like, basically it. But other than that, it's not really marked at all, but whatever. Anyways, uh, there we go, we got it. And... Alright, well, with that, that's three levels in a row that I've had to do twice. So, you know what? That just might be the trend from now on, and I, I guess it, it is what it is. Um, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, that's the thing. That's four levels done, right? I imagine that there's at least three levels left, because we still have, at the very least, we still have this this, this, and then that, and there might be something else. So yeah, I'm probably going to end it here, uh, but yeah, uh, I think I think this will be a good length. I think, yeah, I think like either like like around four levels is a is a good amount for levels. Uh, that's I normally like to have like the video parts like between like 20 to 40 minutes or so, which is is admittedly kind of a huge range, but it does kind of work out because it's like if the video is more than 40 minutes, and I can split it into two, like, videos that are within that time frame, so it kind of works out in, uh, at least the way that I kind of think about it. But anyways, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. We, uh, started World 4, or, I mean, that was the beginning of World 2, and next time we will finish it off. And yeah, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and take care.